Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the new 52 Batgirl figure that was produced by Mattel as a part of the DC Comics Batman Unlimited line of products. I picked this up at Target for $15.99. This is a nice likeness of Batgirl. Just like with the new 52 uh, Batman figure that I previously reviewed, Batgirl's costume is quite shiny, and I really like that feature. I like uh, Batgirl's costume coloring scheme with all the black and gold coloring, along with the uh, capes off purple coloring on its inside. She has a really nice looking feminine face too that is nicely sculpted with blue eyes, red lips, and really nice looking hair. The cape is made of a soft plastic and is flexible but not removable. Articulation joints on this figure worked quite well out of the packaging. I had no problem in moving the head, shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, or ankles. There's a joint in the middle of her chest uh, that turns left to right but does not move up and down. The hip joints and right shoulder joint also felt a bit loose to me, but not enough so to cause me a great deal of concern. And it's also a bit hard to turn her head due to the long hair. Paint apps uh, were done fairly well for the most part. I did find a large error on the inside of Batgirl's right boot, which I didn't see in the packaging, and that was unfortunate. There were also small errors around her utility belt, but those weren't very noticeable. So let me pause here, zoom in, and I'll give you a closer look as to what Batgirl looks like. Okay. Now, as was the case with uh, the other Batman figures that I've uh, previously reviewed in this line, the new 52 Batgirl figure didn't come with any accessories or figure stand. And as before, I was very disappointed to see that, as I would have liked to have either had at least a figure stand or some accessories, like some batarangs to pose Batgirl with, something. So what I'll do now is a quick 360 of Batgirl and let you see what she looks like from all sides. So here she is from the front. From the left. Here she is from the rear. The right hand side. Finally, here we are once again from the front. So overall, I'd have to say that uh, this new 52 Batgirl figure, it's, it's not that bad. <clears throat> I really like it. I like the coloring of the costume and Batgirl's overall appearance. But having that large paint app error on the right boot was a bit distracting, but uh, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to fix that problem with some matching gold paint. And uh, I, I also don't like that there were no accessories or figure stand included because, as I said, it would be nice to at least have a figure stand or some accessories of some kind. I mean, this is Batgirl we're talking about. Something. But in spite of the problems uh, that I encountered with this figure, um, I still think that this new 52 Batgirl figure deserves a good recommendation. I think she makes for a solid addition to anyone's Batman or DC Comics Unlimited uh, figure collection. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.